Hi, YouTube. It's Angela here to do a quick um, energy update, and we'll just do a general reading for all of us. Um, it's, you know, early May, so I thought it would be a good time to sort of, you know, see what potentials are there for us if we choose to focus on certain aspects of ourselves to grow. Beginning of the month, beginning of a new path, you know, kind of spring fully uh, fleshing itself out here and moving, you know, towards summer soon. So I pulled a couple of Oracle cards for us that is, I don't know, kind of to me personally, these really fit. So hopefully they fit you guys too. Um, I pulled from the Earth Magic deck, I pulled Solitude Island. And then shortly after that, I, I mean, right after that, excuse me, I pulled Emergence. So Dragonfly. So this gives me the vibe that we're, you know, um, coming out of a place. And this could be energetically, this could be physically, it could be literally, it could be also just energetically and sort of this um, spiritual knowing that you have that you've been a little bit contained for a while here and now it's time to start to expand again and and let's um the emergence card kind of gives me the feeling of you know um tapping into that that fullness of yourself and letting that show up a little more in your life um I notice that I look over here a lot when I'm doing my readings and I have to tell you it's because right there is the ocean. And so I know it looks like I'm looking off and like maybe I'm not like talking to you, but the ocean's right there and it's very, it draws me in and I, I tend to, um, my vibration sort of expands obviously when I'm looking at it and it, it brings in the the clarity for me. So that's why I'm always looking off to that side. Um, okay, so moving from isolation to, you know, an emergence to sort of a stepping out of our caves um, at this time. And then with that, from an animal messages deck, I pulled the eagle. So this is saying create your vision, right? So kind of contained a little bit, uh, maybe um, protected by certain walls, whether they be energetic walls or, you know, your own four walls, maybe you've had, you know, some isolate, isolation time, and now it's time to emerge, you know, the sun is out, spring is here, we can, you know, tap into the deepest part of ourselves and, and let that come out, and then set our sights on what's to come, right? The eagle is the highest perspective it it sees everything in your entire landscape you know of your life the, the past the future the present um the conditions you know whether we're looking at certain weather or you know um certain beings grouped over here animals and and you know plant life whatever the eagle sees the whole landscape and this is where we are emerging from our quiet space in order to create the next thing, create that next vision. So I'm going to um, I'm going to pull I'm going to do the um, Zen cards now, but I thought that you know maybe while I'm shuffling, <laughs> you can sort of you know take a few deep breaths and tap into what that means for you. Moving, if this is coming out of a place of solitude or a place of darkness, uh, a pla place of isolation, stepping into the light and emerging from that can sometimes, you know, rattle us a little bit, right? At first, it's a, it's a change of scenery, it's a shift in uh, vibration. So let's tap into, first of all, the comfort level with how that feels. You know, so you're sort of um, emerging from what was into your next version of yourself right so let's let's tap into that energy together and then i'm gonna be doing this zen spread now okay so let's see what we've got i'm gonna i did a little bit extra today i guess that's okay yeah i'll move them like this okay so here we go and as it pertains to 
I'm going to just kind of leave that emergence card um, as sort of our guide, even though the the eagle and the you know the new vision and the solitude are also part of it. But I love the vibration of emergence. I just love how you know, it's kind of just time aligned with the timing of where we're at anyway, as far as, you know, beginning of May, the beginning of spring, not the beginning of spring, but, you know, the fullest of spring now. Okay, so we're going to, we're going to, we're going to, this is our starting point in the center here. And we're going to, I'm going to read these as uh, presents recent past and future or internal energy and external you know inside or behind us outside or in front of us right okay so our first card well look at that the creator we are creating every experience that we have right and if we can begin to fully embody that and fully accept that then as we you know, continue to create and, and grow our own personal and spiritual side, we, you know, it, it gains momentum once we're on board with this concept that everything that we're experiencing, we have created by our thoughts, by our decisions, by our actions, and, you know, even the challenging times. I know a lot of people say, how could I have created this horrible situation I'm in? I didn't create this. I didn't ask to you know, not be able to pay the rent this month or whatever, <laughs> but, um, but yeah, perhaps if it's a little more challenging for you financially in a certain moment, you, the decisions you made did bring you there, but learning from it, growing from it, accepting it and moving forward is the next thing you get to create, right? Um, I know real world, real world stuff is sometimes hard to, uh, to really fold in when we're talking spirituality, but you know, it's all the same. It's all one and the same. We're moving through this life in, in, you know, as our persona self, as our, as our, you know, human self with a spiritual flow, with a, a momentum inside, right. As depicted by this third chakra light up, that's what's driving us, right. We're creating everything we're doing. Okay. And then I've got ripeness and curve. Oh yeah. So this is okay. This is giving me that vibe of this emergence of this coming out of the solitude into a new phase, into, you know, a new aspect of yourself. And this could be also just simply, as, you know, as simple as I don't like making hasty decisions. I want to change that in myself. I want to pause before I make my decisions now. You know, you can create that situation, right? You can make that decision and come through as a, you know, um, a person who pauses, who takes a deep breath before reacting and responding to things, even though maybe that was your habit and pattern in the past. So the ripeness card is kind of saying, you know, when the time is right, um, you know, things will flow as, as they need to in the right timing. This is kind of that vibration where sometimes we get an idea, we want to make a change and we force it through. This is more of a be at ease with the fact that I intend on creating my experience. I intend on making a shift. I intend on emerging from my solitude. And as I have opportunities in every moment, I will step toward that. And then I get this courage card, which is emergence. This is this is this same vibration, but this is also um, combining. It's kind of combining these two cards and re reminding you that allowing for what's in your path is the way forward. You know that seed that was living way down here in the boulders in the dark, with no sunlight started to feel the little trickles of water coming through and realized, oh, if I let this water in, if I let this thing that's in my path, that's in my experience, if I, you know, absorb it and allow it in, then I can change shape. I can create new, right? My hard outer shell of my, of the seed, you know, the seed that I am will start to soften with the water. And then soon enough, you know, no, 
no real plan, no real knowledge that it was to become this beautiful blossoming flower, but that is the result just from allowing the path to be there as it is, you know, letting that uh, each, each step and each element of our progress come in as it should come in on its own timing. Okay, um, internally or in the recent past, oh yeah, look at that. This is our <laughs> this is our solitude vibe here. This is our this is it's either could be where we are now, and then we want to move toward the emergence here, or um, this could be that something you've just moved out of. But we have isolation, kind of a cutting off uh, from others, and suppression. And this is more like a, of a cutting off from yourself, right? Tamping things down, uh, um, not wanting to contend with uncomfortable feelings or uncomfortable situations and just pushing them down, you know, to as if they're not there, to, to try to pretend that they're not there, right? But they are, and they, they won't make any movement until, you know, we start to decide we're in charge of shifting this. We're in charge of making that shift. So yeah, from this isolate, I mean, solitude, isolation, island, that's all the same vibration. And then that suppress, suppression is that same energy, but within you, right? The isolation kind of tells me more cutting yourself off from others, or um, maybe even if you're talking about um, pure internal work, cutting one side of yourself off or one aspect of yourself off and not letting it through. Maybe you you're an artist and you love to write music and you just haven't, you've shut that down, right? You've pressed it in and cut it off from your experience because, you know, for whatever reason, um, you didn't want to let it come through and shine, but now it is time to come through and shine, right? We've got, you know, creating and blossoming and emerging. It's time. So I love this message so far. And now let's see what's here on these other, oh gosh, it's almost like, hello, how much more perfect can these cards be? So what's to come when we, when we get the alignment, when we commit to um, being the one that are acknowledging and, and accepting the fact that we're creating our experience and then allowing what is to come through and help change us and help us emerge, and what does it result in? Abundance and celebration. I mean, this is, I don't know if this could be, <laughs> have been laid out any better. These cards are like perfectly perfect for, for this topic. You know, there is, a, um, you know, there, there, there's always the, the human decision, the human element that comes into these readings and into, into any guidance, you know, that we receive really is that there's a decisiveness and whether or not we want to own it, we are making every decision for our experience. And that's kind of this creator vibe. Sometimes we don't want to own it. Sometimes we want to say, but they put these parameters up or this is the situation and there's no way around it. Well, there's always more than one response, right? To any situation. If a situation feels limiting, you can choose to rail up against it, you know, bash the door down. You could choose to stop and wait, take a breath, see how it flushes out. You could choose to circumnavigate and find another direction, you know, away from this conflict or the perceived block. So there's always a more than one response to choose from. And that's kind of what this, what this, the core of this reading is about is this creator vibe is that we, I'm, I've been hanging out here, you know, I'm, I'm saying um, figuratively, you know, someone has been hanging out here and, you know, in, in the dark or, or holding back or not speaking their truth and not living their truth. And this is not, this is okay. This is part of the cycle of our lives, you know, we go through these phases where we want to tuck in a little bit and then and then step back out and then pull in a little bit again. And that's why I love that, you know, the emergence card and then the forward thinking create your vision card 
came after the solitude. I love it. We're coming out of that. And, and even in this Zen spread, it, it moved in the same way. So for some of us, we may be feeling, um, oh, I've been holding back too long. I don't even know where to begin. I wouldn't even know where to, you know, um, start to show my true self, start to emerge as my true self. I wouldn't even know what to do. But this is, that's what the guidance of this ripeness card is. When it is time, you will know if you're listening, if you're paying attention, if you continue to stay aligned within. And this, you know, this whole reading could apply to any situation. It could apply to a big life-changing situation. I want to move homes. I want to move, move out of state. I want to move to another country. I want to change jobs. I want to start a family, whatever that is. It's just a matter of attuning to the fact that you've been holding yourself back or holding yourself in place before making that move and making the conscious effort to not charge forward, but to sort of um, un uh, uncover that trueness of you. Let it, let it emerge. Um, let old beliefs, let, you know, past habits, let those fall away naturally, you know, just like the fruit falls from the tree, let them fall away. And then I can see, then I have a clearer view of, of what's here and what to work with. And then I can make decisions on, on which energy or which new incoming information I want to respond to in order to move forward. But it is a time for pulling out of the darkness and moving into a more light-filled space. Um, you know, remember this is a general reading and it may not tap into every one of you at this particular time, but coming back to it at another time, or maybe you've just come out of a phase like that, you know, it's, it's general and energy doesn't really know time. It doesn't have a timeline. It's just there and it just is. And you could either choose to tap into this emergence energy um, or keep it in your back pocket and save it for a future time when you know you'll be ready to make some moves. But it feels like if you stay aligned with your with the truth of who you are and then allow what's what's around you to um, you know to sort of integrate the opportunities or the you know new information that comes towards you, integrate that and carry it with you in your little knapsack as you move forward and as you emerge and evolve from where you are. Okay? I hope this made sense. This is kind of an exciting one for me because I'm really feeling this in a, on a lot of levels in my life, um, personally, and also with my business. And so, and with this project too. So um, with Grounded Dreamers, I really feel that there's a lot to be developed. I can see that final bigger picture, but I'm still way in the beginning stages. So, you know, allowing you know, things to take shape on their own is, is my goal. So in a lot of ways too, my personal life too. I hope this resonated for you guys because it sure did for me. Okay. All right. Thanks you guys. I'll see you again very soon. I hope everybody's well. Bye.